Clean Sweep Evangelism Strategy Part 2. One in three people visited in a Clean Sweep event joined the church in a revival service immediately after the Saturday sweep. Clean Sweep is an effective visitation strategy for reaching the lost and adding church members because it is biblical in nature. It's based on Jesus' parable of the woman with ten coins. She lost one of the coins in her house and immediately lit a lamp and began to sweep the house in search of the lost silver. She found the coin, called her neighbors, and rejoiced that the coins had been found. There are people in the church house, that's in the church community, who are not church members. Perhaps they're not even Christians. Clean Sweep is designed to help you find those lost coins and gather the church family to rejoice that they have been found. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. People under the hearing of the word of God are already ripe unto harvest. These include people who attend preaching services, Sunday school classes, those are both ripe for harvest. People who are around living epistles at work or have Christian friends near where they live or even on occasion attend the church fellowship. Jesus is in the midst where two or three are gathered and that makes them under the influence of the Holy Spirit. The Saturday before Sunday harvest services is the best time to carry out the clean sweep operation. This works for a revival or a harvest to Sunday. Make clean sweep special by using an evangelist and a one day revival effort so those who make decisions can follow through with their public profession of faith. The timing. Determine the best time and date to carry out clean sweep. Uh, mark the date on the church calendar. Here's a good hint. The best time to have a clean sweep is at the beginning of a prepared and publicized revival effort. It is important that events, other events and church activities do not interfere with a clean sweep effort. Prepare by researching. Assign someone the task of searching the Sunday school records for non-church members. Make a list of every person who is eight years of age and older who is on the Sunday school roll but not on the church roll. Then add to that list these people, every person who attends Sunday or Wednesday night but is not a church member. These will be your hottest prospects because they're under the influence of the word. Prepare a visitation card in a door hanger bag for each address to be visited. Name, address, and age of the attending non-member are placed in the visitation card. Allow space on the card to list family members or other people in the home that do not attend church but need a future contact. Note. Are the prospects a member of a Sunday school class? If so, list the Sunday school teacher's name on a card for reference. Attach a printed map or directions to the address uh, with that door hanger bag. Include in the door hanger bag gospel tracts, follow-up disciple materials, phone numbers, and information on the church, a Sunday bulletin and are other items you believe are appropriate. For instance, a decision card to be filled out ahead of time for the person to come forward the next day and make public their decision. Suggested tracks will be the Billy Graham Steps to Peace with God on the first clean sweep. Also, Lifeways, welcome to God's family for follow-up and their baptism, my next step of faith. And then the Good News Glove booklet for children that's printed by Campus Crusade for Christ is excellent for the children. Videos demonstrating how to use these tracks can be found on www.keithfordham.com. That's www.keithfordham.com. Or you can go on the Ask Dr. Fordham YouTube channel and find answers to questions such as, What is a rededication? What is baptism? How can I know I'm saved? What are the steps to peace with God? And why go to church? Uh, next, you see here a sample handbill to invite prospects for the revival. This also should be placed in the door hanger uh, bag. A uh, clean sweep unit needs to be enlisted from your church. Enlist every deacon, Sunday school teacher, high school, and college student, a decision counselor, and Christian in love with Jesus, along with new converts. All are to be a part of that team. Visiting clean sweep teams will come in and you'll form teams with the most experienced soul winners paired with the least experienced host church members. It's imperative that you witness in teams of two. Never allow one person to do visitation alone. Men should visit with men and women should go out with women. 
Then there will be a one-hour training. The visiting clean sweep team trains witnesses in the basics of making an effective home visit to a non-church member. Uh, note, enlist commitments from your deacons, your Sunday school teachers, decision counselors, college and high school students to be present on the date set for clean sweep. Uh, note, encourage your church members to be prompt and on time for clean sweep. Clean sweep is an opportunity to witness to the entire neighborhoods by leaving door hanger bags on every door in the community. That is for those that are not home because first of all you'll visit your hottest prospects. Then all homes nearby either witness to the people at home or leave a door hanger bag of tracks and church information for those who are not home. Uh, the members of the host church are familiar with the area. Therefore, they should drive guest soul winners to the prospect's home, acting as silent prayer partners during the time of witnessing. The more people going out means more gospel seeds sown. The more you sow, the more you reap. Hundreds of contacts can be made in two hours. Souls saved and people made ready to join the church the next day. In Houston, Texas, a church did clean sweeps for 10 weeks. And on the opening uh, of the church on a revival Sunday, they had 205 people join. A Baptist Collegiate uh, team, uh, impact team, went out in Huntsville, Alabama. 70 were saved on Clean Sweep Saturday. They had services Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a student-led revival, so to speak, from the college. 40 were baptized on Sunday night. BCM impact teams averaged 10 saves when they used this method. There's a country church in Georgia that not baptized anybody in three years. They went nearly 20 years without a baptism. A consulting team told this church it needed to close its doors. Instead, the church decided to use Clean Sweep and a vocational evangelist. A small Clean Sweep team of four came from a uh, church or an association and went out with four people from the country church. Eight were saved. All joined the church the following week during the revival. Church attendance jumped from 35 to 56, and now that church has a new lease on life. There was a church plant in the Atlanta metro area some time ago. They had 10 weeks of clean sweep prior to starting the church uh, in a tent revival. 86 people joined the first service the church started. In the most crime-ridden area in Kansas City, Missouri, Missouri, the Central Baptist Church did not baptize anybody in 30 years. The church was down to 26 members in a multilingual community. For six weeks, they went out door-to-door, -door, clean sweep advertising, a tent revival, canvassing for prospects, and witnessing Aramaic, Somalian, Vietnamese, Spanish, etc. All languages were used for the advertisements. On Friday and Saturday, under the tent, even the Muslims came. The first baptism in 30 years took place in a cattle trough. 16 were saved and 10 were baptized by Sunday night. In addition, the church average attendance jumped from 26 to 92. One church who did everything wrong in preparation, they didn't see immediate results, but they did see results. The host church members were so changed by the training and effort of the guest clean sweep team that the church had a 114% increase in Sunday school attendance and 60% increase in worship. A dramatic increase in giving came as well. Two church plants in Florida had a team of 40 come with an evangelist and held a revival. 1,200 homes were visited and 1,800 homes were canvassed in these prospective places. Out of this, both church plants are today thriving churches. Clean sweep is worth the effort. May God richly bless you with souls as you take part in a clean sweep effort. <laughs>